Hello, my name is Trina Davis, and I will be discussing a social group meeting I held at my home on Thursday, April 25th. The meeting was from 12.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. During my opening remarks, I thanked everyone for their willingness to support my endeavors, and I also clarified the purpose of the meeting was for me to lead a group session with adults within my community. But my primary focus for this meeting was to create a safe space for retirees who may be looking to fulfill their purpose after retirement. My hope was that as a support group, I would offer this to for each other for each other to navigate through our retirement journey. There were no thoughts shared or questions about the purpose of the meeting. So at that time, I transitioned over to the middle phase of the meeting. The, meet, the middle phase started with a rounds activity. I incorporated a rounds activity to introduce so that each participant could in, introduce themselves to the group. Although our group was familiar with one another, this also gave them a, a, the opportunity to reorient themselves with each other. I asked each person in the group to introduce themselves, state how long they worked at the company we retired from, and to also tell what department they were in when they retired. I selected the person to my left to begin the round. Each participation, each participant had a chance to speak without prompting and the norm was set for the next person to the left to continue and speak until everyone had a chance to speak. I was the last participant to complete the introduction round, which took around 10 to 12 minutes to complete. At the duration of the introduction round, um, on my breakfast bar, which is in my dining room area where I held the meeting, um, I had the pre-printed icebreaker exercise with a, a worksheet and with pens for our participants to use. So I asked the participant to pass out the worksheet along with a pen to each person. While Tracy was passing out the papers and pens, I thanked the group for their responses and commented that within this room alone, we averaged a tenure of 25 years at the company. I thank Tracy for her help in passing out the papers and pens. I began introducing the sentence completion exercise to the group. My pr primary purpose for choosing the sentence completion exercise was to get the participation to focus, the participants to focus on the content in a meaningful but not a too intense way. This is something that was described in our text on J Jacob's ETL and our group dynamics, um, ETAL, in chapter five of the text. I told the members to think back to when they were still working and remember a time when they thought about what they would do when they retired. This is where I wanted them to go before we actually did our ice breaking um, exercise. Thinking about other things they wish they could accomplish when they retire. And with this in mind, I asked the participants to complete the following three sentences. The first sentence was, now that I'm retired, I am happy doing blank. The next one was, now that I am retired, my priority is fill in the blank. The third sentence began with now, 
that I'm retired, I will fill in the blank. And I added in parentheses, I will do, go, or be, fill in the blank. I gave the participants five to seven minutes to complete the sentences, and I told them they would have an opportunity to share and discuss their responses in more detail after they completed the sentences. I said this so that they could just use one or two words to complete the sentence, their thought. I assured them that there were no right or wrong answers, no judgment. We were using this exercise as a way to have a check-in moment with ourselves to see if we are doing what we said we would do when we retire. Once this was done, I asked for volunteers to share. Four participants volunteered to share their thoughts with, without being asked. Some were able to complete the sentences with one to two words, such as, now that I'm retired, I am happy doing nothing. That got a great big laugh from everyone. Uh, one of the other ones said for the same one, I am happy doing whatever I want to and completing my day wherever I want to go. Others did put more than thought into completing their sentences that sounded more like goals they were setting for themselves. I was during this time I was able to scan the room while participants were talking. I noticed some nonverbal communication being de demonstrated with head nods in agreement with, uh, with what other participants were saying. The participation was pretty smooth. The room was light, not very um, much tense tension was there is was really what I'm trying to say. Um, and you could, I could tell that the participants were mostly focused on what was being said by um, whoever was speaking at the time. There was also one moment where a participant who kept adding to what another participant was saying, and I used the cutting off member to hold the focus technique um, by interjecting and saying to to her that that's a great way of looking at it, but let's allow um, her to finish sharing and we will go back to, to you next. Uh, it was met with agreements by her, by the one who was interrupting and with everyone else. So um, I was a little uncomfortable with the cutting off because I didn't do it at first, but I did see where it was needed. Um, now, the bulk of the meeting was dedicated to the icebreaker and the participants sharing their thoughts and about retirement. This part of the meeting was about 45 minutes. Once everyone had a chance, everyone had a chance to share, I checked the room to see if anyone could use a short break. We did agree on a five-minute break, and this gave us all time to move to my living area to where we would have more room to be more comfortable, stretch out, and to finish our um, the midsection and the closing section of our meeting. Once the group came back together in the living room, we moved into the final part of our working session. I asked if anyone wanted to share any aha moments or just anything that they wanted to actually discuss a, a little further and what they may have heard from someone, from myself, or something that they wanted to clarify that they had shared. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four participants shared, and another participant said that she was ready to start some SMART goals, just like we did with while working at the company. I thanked her for bringing up SMART goals because that's something we always did at our company. And as it was defined, I asked each person <clears throat> to work with the person next to them where they were comfortable seated and discuss a goal they would like to apply. 
a SMART goal to for completion within the next 30 days. During that time, I allow five to seven minutes for them to work with the person sitting next to them and dis discuss and to also <clears throat> write down what their SMART goal would be on their um, icebreaker worksheet. This allowed me to use another technique, uh, the dyad technique, to where both participants were able to discuss their goal and write it down um, with the strategy of taking the goal home and to complete it within 30 days by us applying the SMART goal technique. Our time was winding down. <clears throat> so I wrapped up the meeting by thanking the group for sharing and being honest with themselves about their retirement journey and the work that they did for themselves today. Um, I encourage them to be patient with themselves because it's still new to them and, and the answers will come in time. Um, in my own self-reflection and self-assessment and overall performance, um, overall, I think the meeting went well. I was able to keep the meeting on topic and progressing throughout the meeting. I was able to hold the group's attention by using some of the leadership techniques taught in our text, such as the introduction, introduction round, the diet I used to set goals, um, I used the sentence completion exercise. Um, I also was able to explain some of the group rules about non-judgment um, and no, no right or wrong answers. Um, we focused on the content of the, of the meeting. Um, I was able to use the cutting off members to hold the focus technique and also scanning the room for nonverbal communication. Um, was some of the technique leadership techniques that I was able to demonstrate throughout the the session. Um, in closing, I ended the meeting at promptly at two p.m. to allow participants time to beat the rush hour traffic. Um, after all, we're retired, so there was no reason for us to be stuck in rush hour traffic. Um, several of the ladies still wanted to hang around and talk about continuing to meet. Um, and keep um, going on with the support group. Um, I told them that I would be definitely interested in doing so, um, but that I would need help and it would be a group effort because there was a lot involved in planning and setting up um, the group meeting. So they all assured me that they would be interested in helping out and taking on roles to continue this support group. So all in all, I believe that my pre, the, the pre-planning and the walkthroughs helped me get to a, a place for where I felt what I should expect in the actual meeting. Um, I'll continue to work on applying more of the leadership techniques that we studied. I found some were not as easy to apply to my one-time meeting scenario as they could have been in other types of group sessions that may have already been in place. Um, I thank you, Professor, for this opportunity. I, I know my skills will continue to get better the more I use them. Um, this assignment has truly been a challenge for me, but the, the experience I gained has been truly valuable. So I thank you. I know I went over in time, but I hope that you do um, listen to my video in its entirety because this was uh, a great challenge for me. Thank you. Bye.